All right, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise unto my power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, I want to give uh, acknowledgement to my elders at GMS. All right, uh, today's lesson, I want to go into this right here, 2nd Ezra 15, and just go ahead and build off of that, all right? Because right now we actually see, right, uh, the end is nigh, man. All right, like it says in Luke 21, uh, Luke, the, Luke the 21st chapter. Right, look up for your redemption draw of nine. We can actually see that these draw it's lucky that our redemption is drawing nine, man. We're about to be redeemed, we're about to be, you know, we're about to uh be delivered from this uh bitter captivity, man. Right, just observing and looking at all the different things that are happening throughout the four corners mass layoffs, food shortages, recession talks, right, and all of these things were actually, you know, uh, brothers have been talking about and been prophesying about even back in 2022 and uh, and talking about. A lot of these things were going to stir up, you know, in 2023, which we're in. And then we see the first month of 23, 2020, 2023, January has been nothing but, you know, just uh, 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 just been turning up to the prophecies, man. War, evil, pestilence, right? All of these different things, like it says in Matthew, the 24th chapter, which I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and grab that real quick. Do the spirit. Matthew, chapter, chapter 24. In verse uh, verse uh, verse four it says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For the nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So, this is just showing you that all of these things were happening because the next transition is Jacob's trouble, man, which we're in the beginning stages of, and Jacob's trouble is what is going to mark. You know, a lot of sedition, a lot of rebellion, people, you know, uh, uprising, which we see happen all throughout the government. You know, it's like um, not all throughout the government, um, all throughout America, you know, uh, and these other uh, these other countries, man, all, all around the world, I, I want to say. Right. You see how people are, you know, they're lacking the, uh, the essential things that they need for life. And ultimately, that, that gets people stirred up. All right. So and that goes into right here, these famines, pestilence. Right. And we see a lot of earthquakes happening. You know, you know, constantly, daily, on a daily basis. If you have Twitter, you can actually twin, uh, 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 ping this page, right, where it actually shows you all the earthquakes that come in on a daily basis. You'll get like a couple a day. All right, so these are all prophecies, man. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead right here, Second Ezra 15 and verse 5. It says, Behold, say of how the one, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So the Heavenly Father is bringing famine, death, and destruction, which a lot of judgments have been going out, lay a lot of brutal judgments, Right. You seen those police officers with that with with, uh, with that young man? Now, even though he was committing, you know, uh, adultery and whatnot, these are still mass judgments that the Heavenly Father, you know, is going out and you know, rightfully so upon it, you know, you know, because he was committing that, you know, uh, a sinner to death. But also, these are just showing that the Heavenly Father, you know, he's uh he's stirring things up, man, right? And that's what the Heavenly Father does. I mean, this is Zephaniah chapter three. And verse five, it says, the just hot of one is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, though, if he bring his judgment to light, he faileth not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. Yeah, they don't know any shame. And ultimately, why? that's why they keep on waxing worse and worse. You know, sowing upon themselves furrows of unrighteousness. Right. You know, the Heavenly Father brings these scourges, these pestilences, these, uh, uh, these plagues as uh, scourges for amendment. Right. Meaning that, you know, uh, uh, for these people to actually get right. But will these people get right? No, they know with no shame. They keep on waxing worse and worse. And ultimately, now the Heavenly Father, he has to get rid of them, man. Right? So we see that the Heavenly Father, he's bringing these judgments to lights every morning. Right? You go on, you go on Twitter, you go on YouTube, you see nothing but judgment, especially over, over there on the East Coast. I mean, it's really all throughout America, all around the world. You see bodies just dropping. And that's only going to increase, man, as the Heavenly Father increases more of these plagues upon the earth, like famine, all that, man. Right? And a lot of people are going hungry. So the Heavenly Father, he's doing this, man. Second Ezra 15 and verse 6, it says, For wickedness have, have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled, right? So wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, right? You know, uh, primarily, you know, through, you know, everybody following Esau Edom, right? Because Esau Edom, he's in charge right now. The, uh, uh, um, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, man, right? And everybody's following Esau, <laughs> But his time is definitely coming to an end, right? Because their hurtful works are fulfilled. So now, all right, like it says, verse 8, I mean, in fact, let me, let me read it. Verse 7, therefore, save how I don't want, uh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves, all right? So he's not going to keep on suffering this, man, 
right? He's going he's going he's going to send out judgment because at the end of the day, you know, which I, I believe the elect is almost sealed, man. Right? It says, Behold, the innocent and right and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Brothers are complaining continually, man. Like it says in Ezekiel the ninth chapter, the men that sigh and that cry, right? Like it says in Second Peter the seventh chapter, right? Where like whereas our forefather, righteous forefather Lot, that's vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. We're vexed with this filthy ass place. We want to get out. Right. And the Heavenly Father hears our cry. Right. Like it says in uh, Sirach, the 35th chapter. Let me go ahead and grab that. Right. Sirach 35 and verse 16. It says, he that serveth out of one shall, uh, shall be accepted with favor and his prayer shall reach unto the cloud. What's our prayer, man? Right. Man, in fact, let me read verse 17. It says the prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds so, until he come nigh. He will not be comforted. And he will not depart to the most high shall uh, behold the judge and to judge righteously and execute judgment. And that's what the heavenly father is doing. Verse 18, it says, for the hot one will not be slack. Neither will the, um, the mighty be patient toward them till he have smitten and sundered the loins of the unmerciful and repay vengeance to the heathen. So he had taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the scepter of the unrighteous, man. So that's the point, man. Right. Verse 19. Till he had rendered to every man according to his deeds, to the work of men, according to their devices. So he have judged the cause of his people and made them to rejoice in his mercy. Right. And that's the point. man. That's what we waiting for. All right. That's exactly what we waiting for. We waiting for this day, too, man. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back to that, Peter. I'm going to go ahead and grab this in the book of Psalms. Right. Psalm chapter 58 and verse 11, it says, verse 10, it says, the righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked so that the man shall save their lay. There's a reward for the righteous. Right. Because ultimately the heavenly father is going to come and give a reward uh, 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 for every man. Uh, so he's going to send Yahweh Shai to give us a reward. Every man, according as his deed shall be. Now, it's all based on what you done put into this thing, man. What you done put in, what you done sold in your flesh. Whether you did good, that's what you're going to get. Pursuing Isaiah, the third chapter, say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with them. All right, man, I'm going just, to just get it for y'all. All right, so they're quoting them, right? Might as well better for y'all to see. Isaiah, chapter 3, and verse 10, it says, Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. All right, so that's the point, man. All right, so you, based on what you done sowed in your flesh, that's what you're going to get, man. All right? And ultimately, you know, brothers, man, that are, that are uh, brothers and sisters that are in the right spirit, you you ought to be showing uh, uh, bountifully and righteously, in, you know, in, in the spirit, man, right? In this fleshly body, you want to be showing righteously, so that way, ultimately, when that time comes to reap the reward that Yahweh Shah is coming to give, like it says in Revelation, the twenty second chapter, right? He's going to give every man according as his work shall be, right? Right now, you have life and death before you. What do you want to choose? You want to choose life that both thou and thy seed may live, like it says in Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, man, right? Because we see that this place is coming to an end. All of these things are happening all at one time. It is not sustainable for America, Babylon to continue on further and further years and years to come. It, it, it just can't happen. It don't make no sense, right? So we understand through measuring the time diligently in itself that this is the end, y'all, right? So bear, 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 you know, just, just, just tough it out. I'm telling you, this, this go for me too. Ain't like I'm living in some mystical realm right now. I'm, I'm in this with y'all, right? I, I, I got to endure too. Brothers got to endure too. So you telling you things that we doing, right? I'm telling you things that I'm doing. We got to endure because if not, then what you got? You done. It's over, right? So just keep pushing, keep fighting. We see if this thing is up. The, you know, the jig is up for you, Saul Eden, man. You know, his short season is coming to an end. And, and, and our redemption draw nigh, man. Right. So, you know, lift up your heads, man. You know, you know, uh, keep 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 staying prayed up. Keep keep uh, so bountifully and abundantly to the spirit and righteousness and, 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 and trust in Yahweh. Yahweh was shy. He gonna come through for us, man. So I sincerely pray that you sincere hearted, true believers were edified, exhorted and comforted. And with that, I want to give all glory, honor and praise unto my power. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Shalom.